just working on your heart chakra right now, okay? Just allow everything to flow. It's hard to be a leader. It's hard for a man to be a leader. for other people's lives. It's hard. Mm -hmm. <sighs> the only escape for a leader, a man, is a woman's love. The only retreat. That's why they need strong women, partners. They need the love of a strong woman. That's their only place of safety. That's beautiful. It's very hard for them. It's hard for the men. Really? Yeah. They suffer from it. They suffer? <laughs> from the burden of the responsibility. They need comfort. So this is why you showed her that light. It's hard to be the woman partner of a leader. Mm -hmm. to provide love for them, no matter what, what the situation, no matter. Beautiful. Because they take the responsibility for other people's lives, they go out and fight for them, mm -hmm. and they just... put themselves in danger. <clears throat> that they are good men. That's why you have to be strong for them as a woman. <sighs> and generate as much love in your heart as you can. They need that. That applies. Do you feel that applies to um, many relationships now in this current day? It's hard to be leaders for men today. It's really, really hard. Even though they don't look good people, there are many good men who just suffer from this burden of being a leader. It's hard for them. They need loving women, brave women. You have to love bravely, not get lost in, in pain. These men are lost without these, these strong women. They are lost. And they deserve this love. These men deserve the pure love of these women. So can you tell me because this is such a powerful message coming through as the higher self of my client. Who am I speaking with? Goddess. Goddess. Sorry, it sounds strange, but this word came through. Goddess. Where? What is the goddess from? Where? Is it an energy form? Is it the feminine energy? I don't know of the fighters 
I don't know. There's a lot drops me to this Arabic world again back. The, the Middle East, I don't know. The Middle East? <laughs> okay. So is higher self. Am I speaking to an aspect of her that um, lived in those times of the, you know, back in the Middle East? Are you from another civilization? I am that strong woman. That real, real divine strong feminine full mm -hmm. of love who was able to cater for the need of love to comfort that leader who was a who was brave to go out and risk his life for other people's lives to protect other people's lives mm -hmm. So you're a divine feminine energy coming through. Mm. Pure feminine, pure love. The feminine, pure love. I feel in me. I have it in me. Have we, are we, um, I'm just trying to pinpoint this, who I'm speaking with. Have we got Mother Mary here, the Divine Feminine? Rather Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene. Mm. Beautiful. She was spit at, spat at. She was despised, but she had this pure love in her. Beautiful. So we have. She was not allowed to be a woman, a pure woman. Mm -hmm. But she was one inside. Despite all the despise, she knew who she was. And who did, who did Mary Magdalene, who was her partner? Who was she partnered with? I don't know. Jesus. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. Broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> It's brutal to kill a man in a fight, to stab them in heart. Brutal. Oh.
No spear should go through that. Never. Oh God. What happens when? Oh God. When that when that occurs, if somebody is oh. is pierced in the heart, what does that do? Does it? Oh God. Oh, that strong man loses his power. Oh God. No man should lose their lives like that. Oh, it shouldn't be done to man. Shouldn't. Their heart shouldn't be destroyed for no reason. For no reason. Never. When mm -hmm. somebody dies that way, if a man dies that way, what happens to his spirit? Oh, God. What happens to the spirit? He loses his power. The spirit loses the power? The, the masculine aspect loses its power. But the divine masculine mm -hmm. aspect is lost. It's lost in the human form, or does oh, it affect... Oh, it's really hard to, to love... I don't know. Wait, I'm not clear. As if they become annihilated. They, they find it hard to find themselves again. Mm -hmm. To step back in their power. So they suffer a lot. Can this be... It's too much for them. Yeah, can this be um, a metaphor as well for like, if a man is in a relationship with a woman and he is... Uh, the, yeah, it falls apart and the man is broken hearted. Is that the same as being spirit in the heart? Where they lose their power. Women can hurt men a lot. Women can destroy men by hurting them in their feelings. Mm -hmm. What does it take for them to regain that after something like that has happened? Is it possible? I don't know. They, but they should be able to regain their heart. Because they are, they, it's, they, they don't know how to do it. They don't know. They don't know to do it on their own. They don't have the, the, the knowledge or the ability or I don't know. As if you know when you are crucified and you you don't have anything, you don't, can't help yourself. They deserve the help. They must get help. How would they get help? Who would they turn to? And strong women. So to turn back to another strong, another strong, strong women, woman. with a strong, glowing, full of love hearts, standing strong beside them. Beautiful. That's a very. They cool. are good men. Mm -hmm good men who have lost their good hearts it was smashed and they have a hole in the left side of their chest and they are frozen they can just suffer and not recover without on themselves on their own it's 
it's too much for them. Too much, too much pain. So they need a strong woman then to stand with them. The love, the real pure love, even even if they look weak. find their balance again, to find themselves again in their hearts. This is such a powerful message even for the time that we're in now. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Women, women criticize men but they suffer. They need the women. Strong, pure hearted women with, with sacred sexuality, pure, 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 pure. I cannot say this word enough times, how pure women must be today for men to be there. They are, they are as if they were imprisoned and they cannot break out of there. They, I don't know, they need to be rescued. Yeah. However strange it seems. Men are not to generate profit only. It should stop. They suffer in these chains. They are put in chains to generate profit. And they suffer from their lost heart. They cannot solve it on their own. So to solve the, the problems, there needs to be a balance between the, the mm -hmm. masculine and the feminine. Their real, their real masculine power should be given back. This is not power what they have now. This is not power, this is just the slavery of money. They are in the slavery of money. Can you describe what the power, the true power, would be? Because man with hearts, man with glowing hearts. Man with glowing hearts who love themselves. Men don't love themselves at the moment. They hate themselves and they suffer. They know something is wrong, but they don't know what is wrong and they don't know how it can be fixed. They suffer. And men, don't, women don't see it, they don't understand. Women don't understand. Women don't understand how much men suffer. Oh. It must stop. So the power you're talking about though isn't control controlling another women force men to 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 become the slaves of money to provide for the families for the luxury for this is not is this is to be a woman is not this to be a woman doesn't mean to push a man to be the slave of the money making machine it's cruel but many women are very strong in, in earning finances as well these days. But they don't have a man, the love of a man. Right. Why? And it's absurd. Why is that? That doesn't seem, <laughs> doesn't seem because right. Because they, they become the same broken-hearted man in a woman's body. So simple. Wow. That's a really powerful man. So simple. You lose your divinity, you lose your purity, you lose your sacred sexuality, you just mock everything with dirt because you are weak. You are weak. So what is the solution for the, a couple? What is the, can you tell me what the best uh, solution is for a man and a woman to live in harmony? You understand the sacred sexuality and put 
heart connection first. First. And women. Shouldn't allow men. Men's egos or I don't know because the ego keeps fighting. Keeps pushing men in the same direction. It gives men to peril. Men are in danger. However, however, this, however strange it sounds, because I know that many women feel that that they are controlled by men, but actually it's it's uh, it's the weakness of women which really pushes men in this direction. It must stop. Must stop. I we got, lose. We lose our men. I got a message from um, in one of my sessions. Oh God. Or. F oh God. It hurts. I was told to share that for women to be strong, they need to find their weakness and their femininity, to fall back into that place and not to try to be powerful. So in weakness, there's strength for a woman in allowing the feminine to be there instead of trying to hold that masculine energy. It sounds very similar to what you're saying. But men don't understand women. If 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 a woman is weak, they run away. If they if they see they don't understand what this means. Men don't understand what this means because they see the surface only. Men don't understand women either. And they think that the women use them as servants. And they hate this position and they don't, don't understand that a woman who is loving is not weak. Right. They think a woman who speaks about emotions is weak and they want those women who say what they want to hear, who feed their egos, they think those are the strong women and no, those are not strong. Right. So men at the moment are, are running away from really strong women. They Superficially they see them weak. Oh gosh, it's like a trap. Mm -hmm. But it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. We are losing our man. We are losing our man. Their hearts are broken. And I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't feel a connection with women who do this with men. I know they are there. But I don't know. It's it's too too painful to see this for for me. It's too painful to see this. Because I know what it what it means to be a real pure woman. And it's too painful to see so many men being destroyed by by women who manipulate their egos and and control the man, kill their hearts, but lose their egos and chase them, lash them into these money-making machines. Ah, oh, it's awful, mm -hmm. awful. It hurts for me too much to see this and not not be able to, to change. Do oh, you I see any kind of change coming in the future for this situation? I I don't see. I just for me it's too painful to see it, and having seen it all my life, 
all my life, all my life. And I don't know how to change it. I, I want to change it, but I don't have, I, I lack something. Even if one man is rescued, but they have to be, their hearts have to be restored. Their self-love has to be restored. They don't understand what it means to be a man, a real man. And they do stupid things. They keep destroying themselves with, oh gosh, this is too much for to see and not be able to change. It's too much. It hurts so much. It hurts so much. What can I do? What can I have this man in my heart. What can I do for him? As the essence of um, Mary Magdalene, oh, gosh. who has had her life with Jesus, and that is how many of us recognize your energy, what does he feel about this situation as well? Can we bring him forward to get his perspective on this? Oh. We need guidance and we, need, we must start doing real work and, and bring forward changes little by little and save these men because they are so good, mm -hmm. so good. They deserve the real love, the real pure love because they will be able to change this whole stupid money-making matrix, everything. We need to purify and restore the man in their pure masculine power. And who am I speaking with now? I don't know, but... I don't know. Can you tell me if Jesus is there? Can you connect with him, please? Jesus' is mother, yes, tells me, pushes me, tells me. Change, change. Results must be. One man after another must be saved. Must be, must be, must be. No more time, no more, no more cans, no more deadline extensions no more no more time to be lost no more no more so mother mary is saying this i feel yes she wants this okay she wants this help please we must join forces we must we can do it together only i don't know i from the masculine side, we also need help. There, it's, my heart bleeds for them. My heart bleeds for them. Love, love them with my heart. Love them. They struggle so much. They lose the children. They lose their children after the divorces. They suffer so much from losing their children, being this kind of money-making fathers, the Sunday fathers, they suffer, they, they are semi-dead, walking semi-dead and working. It's cruel. It must be stopped. How can it be stopped? I don't know, because they, oh, they are helpless. It hurts too much to go on like this anymore. I don't know. No more destruction. 
Mother Gaia is so strong and loving and, and brave and no wars. Wars were stopped. I'm so grateful for that. No more men killed in wars. No more. No Third World War, I understand. I'm grateful that it was stopped. I knew. Who stopped the wars? I don't know, but... But I know that there was a danger and I'm really grateful that no more men were, were sent to, slot, to be slaughtered. No more. Oh God. Life is precious. Okay. Oh God. And I'm also talking to God because he's just watching and doing nothing really. Just, you know, saying that humans are here to experiment things, experience things. It's, it's cruel in a way because in this matrix you are limited, your hands are tied. You feel it's wrong, but you don't have the power to change. Oh God. You should also oh, change your position in this question because it has been going on for centuries and it cannot change. It's no, we are not guinea pigs. It's enough. Do you feel like there's um, an event coming forward that's going to make a shift in the... I know. In the reality of how we live our lives here, there's a lot of talk I about don't know, that. Man, man, have to be saved. It has to be stopped. Killing men in their hearts, uh, pushing them to live away from their children, because women are protecting. The, they think they are protecting themselves with the divorce, but they aren't. Right. They are just destroying the hearts of their children, also. Oh God, let man suffer. I, I feel, I have, maybe I haven't allowed my heart to feel how much they suffer, but now all their pain went through my heart. No, this is now I understand them. This is Mother Mary? Mm. Mm, it's my heart, I don't know, just my heart. Okay.